In this video, we continue our study of financial statements. This is Financial Statements Part 2. Here we're going to look at the content and the purposes of the balance sheet. All right, let's begin. Again, these are formal financial statements. They start off with the name of the company, the type of statement, but this is just one date, October 31st, 2012. This is at the close of business. Think of this as a snapshot at the end of October 31st, 2012. Here's a list of the assets, that is what the business owns, and the liabilities, what the business owes. And the difference between the two is the equity. Now, again, we list these assets, and we should summarize them actually here in the middle column, but they don't. Cash, balance, 15200 Accounts receivable, 200 Supplies, that's what the business uses in day-to-day. -day. Prepaid insurance, we'll explain what that account means later. And equipment. So my total assets, 21910 Now, to purchase those assets, we had to borrow money, or we owe people money, and we put our own money into it. So what we owe to people is 9,550 of that 21,910. Notes payable, we'll explain what that is later. Accounts payable, we have accounts with certain companies. We bought goods for them, we haven't paid them yet. We have to pay our, uh, our employees, so we have salaries payable. Unearned service revenue, don't worry about that, that's a weird one, we'll discuss that later. Interest payable. So you see now we have 9550 of debts that we owe. So the shareholder's equity is the balance, 12360 And that's broken into two parts. We show the common stock. That is what the shareholders paid for their shares. That's called common stock. So you see these shareholders put in $10,000. Now retained earnings, you recall the retained earnings statement. They made 2860 in the first month. They gave 500 back to the shareholders, so the retained earnings is 2360 And that's where you get the 12360 This plus this equals 21910 That's the balance sheet equation. Assets equal liabilities, what we owe, and plus equity. Okay, this is a simple balance sheet. We actually classify the assets a little differently and the liabilities. This is a more complex kind of balance sheet, but this is what you would see. Again, the name of a corporation, different company, balance sheet, October 31st, 2012. Now we take the assets. There were 61,600 in assets, and we classify them into what we call current assets. Those are assets that are going to be cash or turn themselves into cash within the next accounting cycle. So, you see short-term investments, I can make that into cash by selling them very quickly. Accounts receivable, I'll collect my money. Notes receivable, inventory, I can sell and collect cash, prepaid insurance, and so on. Now, we, other ha we also have what's called long-term investments. These are investments in other businesses or in real estate and that is 7200 Then we separate that from property, plant, and equipment. And here we list the land and the equipment less accumulated depreciation. And these also are totaled here in the outside column. And lastly, we have intangible assets such as patents. Now we will discuss each one of these in turn, in turn as we go through this course. Now on the other side, we have liabilities. Total liabilities were 27350 but you see we have current liabilities. These are debts that we're going to have to pay in the near future. Notes payable, accounts payable, salaries and wages payable. Now there are some debts that we pay over a 10-year period or even longer, and they're called long-term liabilities. Mortgage payable and notes payable. And so we separate the liabilities into short-term, current liabilities, and long-term. The shareholders' equity section is the same as we did before. Common stock, what the shareholders put into the business, plus retained earnings, which belongs to the shareholders, and the shareholders' equity is that. 
So liabilities plus the equity gives me the total liabilities and shareholders' equity, which equals the total assets. So that's how this is called a classified balance sheet. We classify the assets into short term and long term. We classify the liabilities into short term and long term. And that completes our introduction to financial statements of chapter one. We will now move into the next section of the course.